Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. I want to talk to you about homestead exemption. I'm going to talk about Miami-Dade County. It could be any county in Florida. Every state is different. But in Florida, you get $25,000 to $50,000 exemption, lowering your taxes. What exactly does that mean? Let's say you buy a house for $400,000. You're not going to be taxed on the $400,000. A lot of people think you are. You have an assessed value in your taxes. Let's say it's three hundred dollars based on that four hundred. dollars So you're paying taxes. Maybe 2% of that three hundred dollars is $6,000. But if you are able to lower that 300 to about 250, really it's a different calculation, but you get 25,000 for some things, 50,000 for others, you're gonna get a discount. You're gonna knock off 500 to $1,000 in your taxes per year. Not only that, you have Save Our Homes here in Florida where you can't, your value, your assessed value, the tax value cannot increase by more than 3% a year. So if it's 300 in one year, it'll be 309 and so on. Uh, but it can't go up more than that 3% every year. Some people have huge savings because of this, um, especially if you've lived in your home for decades. So if you're the new person buying the house, your taxes are much higher than their taxes. That's why, save our homes. Now that person that goes by and buys somewhere else gets portability. Portability is a, you can take your savings to the next property as long as you buy within two years. So let's look at the website to see where you go for Homestead because you need to do it now, January, February, March of 2020 if you purchase in 2019. If you purchase in 2020, too bad, you gotta wait for 2021. So I just go online, I type in the county, Miami-Dade, I'll type in property appraiser website, you see the property appraiser up here, or type in Homestead exemption. I mean, it gives you everything that you need to fill it out and what to understand and what to do and the legalities of it. Don't lie about it. Don't rent out your house and move out and keep homestead on it. You gotta change that. So that's all. That's my lesson on homestead exemption. Make sure you get it done now in 2024, 2019. Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd, thanks.